high school classrooms are no longer empty. After being shuttered for almost three months, the seniors are back at their desks with their face masks and spaced six feet apart. While the pandemic robbed them of most of the senior year traditions, they have not escaped the regional standardized test. That is the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate, or CSEC, which in Belize we still call the CXEs. Mental health therapist Jennifer Lovell says this is the time that parents need to be most understanding to their children. She says test anxiety is only one of the challenges that these teens may be facing. Here we have seniors who have been out because of the pandemic. They've been out of school. And in a lot of cases, they have been the babysitters at home. They haven't really had a routine where they in, included studying in it. Um, for some of them, they've been attached to the, to the um, electronic gadgets, and they have not really been, been focusing on studying. And I think everybody had the idea that CXCs would have been put off this year or pushed far back. So this was a shock to a lot of these children and to the parents, right? Shock aside, the examinations are happening. So we asked Lovell for some advice for parents to help their teens through this transition. The most critical step, according to Lovell, is to re-establish routines. So parents, please try to be understanding, be encouraging, be supportive. When they come home, um, some of the important things, remember I, I talked about this before, they need sleep. Let them get sleep. They need about nine, 10 hours of sleep. They also need to get some exercise. So as parents try to encourage them or maybe go with them so that they're getting these things in preparation. They need lots of sleep before the exam. And I don't mean a day before, or two days before. They need to be building their resistance and their strength back up because they haven't been doing these things. Secondly, she urges parents not to add to the pressure these children may be experiencing and to realistically manage their expectations. You can't go back and learn four years of material. So what you're wanting them to do is to learn test taking strategies, how to, how to take a test. Parents are really going to have to lower those expectations and really focus on the mental health of their children, right? You can't put that much stress on them. The Marines have a thing that says, excellent, strive for it excellence. They don't say strive for perfection because we cannot get perfection. There's no way we ever will get perfection. Even though parents want kids to have perfect scores, they want straight A's, they want the best scores on all these CXCs. It's not going to happen or, or at least don't pressure the child to do that. Talk to your child about doing the best they can do. Be the best that you can be. And if you have given your best, then I am proud of you. Support and encourage them. And most importantly, keep the communication going. Be supportive. Be encouraging. If your child is, is, is so stressed out, they, they're not wanting to study, they want to go and escape into their games. You want to sit with them and find out. Talk to your child. Listen to your child to hear what they're worrying about, what they're scared about. Listen to them and then encourage them. Now, not all students are anxious about their performance. Some have already checked out, which can be an equally frustrating situation for parents. Here is Lovell's recommendation. <laughs> it was yesterday evening because the child has graduated. He has been accepted to, um, to a, a, a college, right? And he's like, why do I need CXCs? And she's like, I've already paid for these things, right? <laughs> so again, you need to sit with your child and talk with your child about the importance. So those CXCs are important. So you need to let them know, no, just because you graduated and because you have been accepted to a college doesn't um, exonerate you from passing these exams. These exams show what you learned over the last four years. Lastly, she pleads for parents to be understanding and to be considerate of all these seniors have already sacrificed. You know, the same way how parents want to be able to go and see the graduation and say, that's my son or that's my daughter graduating. The same way you want to feel that pride and, and let your friends see you and take pictures of you out there. That child spent four years. 
when they go into high school, they are looking towards graduation. That is the highlight of their high school, their whole high school experience. And it's been, it, it was just robbed. They lost it. No other teenagers in the history of anything have ever had to go through what our kids right now are going through, our high school children. Mm -hmm.